Hi folks, Benji Uyama here with the Blessing and Family Ministry. Thank you for being here. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about what is probably one of the most important things when it comes to the matching process, preparing for the blessing and having a successful blessed marriage. And that is on having a vision and taking control of your life through, through that vision. But before I get started, I just want to thank everybody who has been supporting these videos and watching them and sharing them. Uh, I've been getting good feedback, so I'm really, really, really glad and grateful that it's helping some of you guys, okay? So thank you. Um, so to get into this topic, vision, casting, and taking control of your life. This is something that by far, more than anything else, personally helped me a lot when preparing for the matching and blessing and also what I educate most and push most when I'm actually working with individuals who are going through this process or preparing for marriage and preparing for the blessing is do you have a clear vision for your blessing? Do you have a clear vision for your marriage, for your family? What kind of person do you wanna be? What kind of marriage do you wanna create? What kind of relationship do you wanna have? How do you wanna raise your children? What kind of relationship do you want with your kids, et cetera, et cetera? Having that clear vision in your mind is by far the most important thing that you will come across when preparing for marriage. And this is something that uh, actually Dr. Young has been talking about recently and it really has inspired me to go more into this rabbit hole and it came up because we were doing a winter workshop uh, last week actually we were doing a workshop with a bunch of middle school and high school kids you know young folks who have really good questions and and have all kinds of questions about faith and religion and, and, the, and the blessing etc so I was able to particip participate in this workshop as a presenter and also help with uh, manage the Q&A answer some of the questions they had and I tell you, the questions that this age group have are really good. Uh, they're really genuine questions. They really get to the meat of things. And Dr. Young came on to help answer a lot of the questions that the young people are having. And then I got really concerned because I was like, a lot of these questions, they're they're really good questions, and but they're very they're very dicey. Uh, <laughs> they're very dicey qu questions, and kind of all, a lot of them are. Of, of long kind of a, a similar undertone a similar vein of you know why is it that we believe this but people are doing that kind of along those lane lines and they're very di they're very difficult to answer and I was curious as to how Dr. Young would answer all these very specific questions right and his response was spot on it was he said he talked about vision he said that if you have a vision for your life if you take ownership and responsibility for your vision and you live in accordance with that direction, then a lot of these things will not matter to you. And he talked specifically about sexual temptation and pornography. He specifically said, temptation, sexual temptation will not be a problem for you if you have this strong vision that you're working towards every single day. And I thought that's a brilliant way to prepare for matching and blessing. And in this video, I'm going to go into uh, try to give you a little bit of exercise and not just tell you to have a vision, but actually, how do you create a vision? How do you get excited that, about that vision? And what steps can you take right now to actually take control of that vision and really run with it? Right. So the one thing that I want to mention about my own process of uh, receiving the blessing and preparing for matching and marriage is that I made my vision the most important thing in my in my preparation for to be in a relationship i for years i was dedicated to to having this ideal version of myself somewhere in the future two years down the road five years down the road ten years down the road and it was a really idealistic version like things like i wanted to be have mind and body unity i wanted to be perfect and of course that's not a, a very realistic goal but i was so determined to to work on myself and make myself the absolute best husband and father that I could possibly be. And that was my goal. I wanted to do that for God. I wanted to do that for my future spouse, for my future family. And I just worked every single day to work on whatever bad habits I had, whatever shortcomings I had, or, or misunderstandings or mis misconceptions about women, about life that I had. I really worked on those habits because I knew that they would not transfer well into my relationship with my spouse. And as you know, uh, I talk a lot about pornography because pornography is a is a massive uh, plague and issue for many people. For me, when I was preparing for Matching Blessing, it was definitely the biggest roadblock I felt to feeling qualified, to feeling ready to, to be in a relationship, period. So at the time, it was like, I had a vision, like, I don't want this to be an issue. 
and I had to do what had to, I had to do whatever it took to get rid of that issue. And it wasn't until, and anyone who has a porn habit knows that it's a mental cycle, constantly thinking like, oh, I can do, I can do it by myself, I can do it by myself. If I just do this, if I just wait a little bit in the new year, <laughs> in the new year, I'll do this. Or if I move to another country, I'll, you know, or if I'm in a relationship, I'll just stop. But it wasn't until I admitted that I needed to do something that was uncomfortable, something that I, I knew that I didn't want to do, but I knew would be the most helpful for me. And that was simply just telling somebody and, and being accountable and asking that person, it's like, yeah, I have this, this issue, could you be my accountability partner? And can I just like touch base with you every day or once a week and just let you know how I'm doing? And just that act of, of having the courage to just be in line and take control of my vision, which was to not have this issue anymore to be a, a better version of myself in two years from now or five years from now, then I needed to take that action right then and there. And I did. And that was the turning point for my relationship with my own sexual integrity and what allowed me to feel eventually confident and comfortable to be in a blessing and to be in a relationship. Okay, so that's, that's what it looks like in practice of having a vision of yourself, what you wanna do, whatever your vision is, Sit down right now, right now, not this week or sometime. Stop this video right now, get out a piece of paper, get out your phone and make some notes. Ask yourself, what kind of person do I want to be, become? Where Right now, as I'm recording this video, it's the very beginning of January 2021 and a lot of people make New, New Year's resolutions about what they want to look like, what they want to uh, to learn, what they want to do this year like activity wise where they want to go how much money they want to make i don't want to go there for this for the purposes of this video i want to ask you who do you want to be in two years from now five years from now ten years from now who do you want to be because who you are as a person your character your value system reflects all the other aspects of your life the most so who do you want to be and it doesn't have to be, you'd be surprised at how quickly you can turn yourself around. Of course, many issues, some issues take longer to address, you know, like if you have a, a severe addiction to something or anything, some issues take longer to address, right? But for me, in my case, it was like a, a two year period of when I decided that I wanted to get blessed. And, and for me feeling like, like having a total you know, a really bad relationship porn and, and with my parents and uh, to a, a two year period of really intentionally every single day doing praying, doing hundo cake, uh, doing a bowing condition. Uh, it took me two years to really get to a place where I felt like I, I'm on a solid foundation. I've gotten rid of a lot of habits. I've really developed myself to a place where I felt like I can solidly be in a relationship, right? With that said, I was not perfect at all. I was definitely not where I wanted to be. Maybe I thought I was, <laughs> but very quickly you realize when you get matched and blessed is we have a lot of still that's lacking. But those those qualities that are lacking in us are are, are, are they certainly do come up in marriage, and they're actually it's actually a beautiful opportunity to see ourselves from a, a, a different perspective that we didn't see ourselves from before and we can grow into becoming more wholesome and more like a reflection of God's love and God's heart, which is very whole, right? But there are certain milestones that need to be addressed before you be in a relationship, such as uh, sexual integrity issues, right? So that's your vision. Stop the video if you haven't yet and just think about who do I want to be? I want to be kind, I want to be generous, I want to be all this, whatever the, is the most ideal person uh, in your mind. Who do you really respect and look up to in your life that's that's in your life and, and just, just list everything there, right? Okay, so that is who you want to be, who the ideal version of yourself will be like. Now, how do we answer the question of how do you actually go about manifesting that version of yourself and how do you actually become that future spouse, leader, parent, individual son daughter that you want to be how do you get there i think one of the best ways to do that is actually to look at your daily habits and your priorities in a way and see if your pri priorities and daily habits actually reflect your desire to accomplish that vision right if you really are honest with yourself and i'm asking you to to look at your schedule and look at your life right now 
most of us growing up in this world, most of us, the reality is that we spend most of our time doing things that we are, are not completely in line with our vision, with our dreams and our goals. Because if you have that vision, you have to be working on it every single day. This is what we tell matching candidates and blessing people are p- p- preparing for the blessing. It's like if you want to have this incredible blessed life that is radiant and anointed by God and God enjoys being and all that the things that we desire, you have to ask yourself if you're really honestly putting in the best investment every single day and if it, if it is a top priority in your life. And the reason that we, the, the honest response to that is that we aren't, are not really focusing our time and attention in the things that really matter to, our, to us is that we have lost control. We are not very much in control of our lives. And I know that's hard to hear because we like to be in control and we like to say that we control our schedule. But the, the, the honest reality is that most of us in most cases, in most, most of the time, most of our focus and attention is, is doing things that we aren't extremely passionate about. That doesn't speak to our heart. That isn't really truly in line with this vision that we have for our lives and for ourselves. An example is most of us have gone through school or are currently working or or doing something. I can't tell you how many uh, middle school and high school uh, guys that I'm working with that are really excited about the idea of preparing for matching blessing. But if you look at their schedule, it's work, school, 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 homework, come home, do homework. And as soon as they close the computer and they're done with homework, it's gaming, watching YouTube, going on TikTok, et cetera. So I have to really go into their lives to really help them change their habits, change their daily habits and reflect on, on and the question, am I really living in line with my vision? Is there, does, do my daily actions actually reflect what I truly care about? So we have completely lost control of our lives. For me, myself too. It's like work all day as, and, and, and spend time with the kids. It's like my whole life. I love it. But as soon as I rest my head down to rest or the kids are asleep what's the first thing i want to do is probably go on youtube or like watch a show you know my the first reaction i have when i have a little downtime is not to focus on the things that are really truly important to me like my self-development my health we have lost control of our time and our focus and the end result is that we are not able to put the amount of investment that we want into ourselves into the things that really matter to us If you don't believe me that you have lost control, ask yourself this question, okay? Write it down or take a walk and think about it. What is the most important thing in my life? What are the top priorities in my life? Okay, think about that for a bit. What is most important to you? If the answer to these questions are something along the lines of my relationships, and I would willing to bet that it's one of these, my relationships with my with my family with the people in my life my health is important to me or my future blessing and and family is important to me my future relationships if your responses are something along the lines of those points then ask yourself if you are actually taking the time every single day at some point whether it's 30 minutes or 5 minutes or an hour to actually work on those things. If you said family is important to you, do you spend time talking to and connecting, really deeply connecting with your family members on important things to you and reporting to them rather than just group chats and (laughs) things like that? If your health is important to you, do you every day make an effort to do something healthy for your body, exercise, eating well? Or do you have lack of exercise and actually eat a lot of junk food, right? Or if, if what is important to you is your future preparation for marriage, your blessing, your, your, your trajectory, your path to experiencing a truly blessed and radiant family, then what are you doing every day to work on that and to invest in that? It's working on these things every single day and creating a habit and, and reprioritizing our lives so that the first thing we want to do when we... <laughs> When, when, when we rest our heads at night or we end the work day or end the school day is that we want to invest in ourselves. We want to do that. And as soon as you can get there where you're spending most of your, your downtime or your free time re- learning new skills or learning, developing yourself or watching videos like this one, right? God bless you <laughs> for doing that. Then you have a, your sense of priority is really in line with your visions. Absolutely, 100%. 
Okay, everyone, so just to wrap up this video, sit down, make a vision for yourself. Who do you want to be? What do you want to be like in the future? Just two years and five years from now, just write it down and maybe put it somewhere on the wall or tattoo it on your forehead. I don't know, no, don't do that. But <laughs> make a vision. And the second thing is, is adjust your daily life habits to reflect your vision that you want to be and take an honest look at the time that you spend when you, when you have some free time most of us, most of the time, are not entirely in control of what we do with our time. We are led down a rabbit hole of, of consumerism and, and our time being consumed by whatever platforms that we are on, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, it's a big time sucker. They're not always unproductive, but if we let them be, it'll drag us into a very unproductive state. So we have to be able to control what we're viewing, what we're doing, what we're spending time with, who we're spending time with as well, which is very important. Okay, and so when, once you've done, done those things, uh, feel free to share them with somebody, share them with everyone. If you wanna join a community of individuals who are going more in, in depth into vision casting for their lives and preparing for matching blessing, you can consider joining MatchNet. Go to bfm.familyfed.org matchnet and you can join the community there. Okay, thanks for watching. God bless, we love you.